Today I have something a little bit different. How about some Indonesian inspired products? We have some spicy peanuts. We also have some spicy sunflower seeds. And we also have a dry sambal shake, a spicy chili seasonings. And these products are from Bali Marley. We'll keep watching and learn a little bit more about this company. What's going on guys, it's Bill Moore back again with another review. Now today I'm gonna to review some products that were sent to me from a company that just uh, really got started uh, recently uh, by the name of Bali Marley and they are located in Worcester, Massachusetts and this is one of their products. They sent me their first three. This is a dry sambal shake, a spicy chili seasoning. I love sambals and to have it in a shakeable dry form uh, sounds very interesting, but check, check out that cool logo. Bali Marley, they also sent me, um, their first product they came out with was the uh, sunflower seeds, spicy sunflower seeds. I believe you pronounce, you pronounce this Kwasi. I'm doing the best I can, Marley, so uh, I'm trying. Maybe that is wrong, but I believe it's Kwasi. This is their spicy sunflower seeds, and then their, I believe this is Kachang. Chung, uh, this is our spicy peanuts. So let's go ahead and before we get into these, I want to read a little bit about them. It says, founded by husband-wife duo James and Marley Town in 2019, Bali Marley has quickly become a hit in local breweries and with customers following the pair between venues and across cities to grab a bite of their savory goods. Now they do fix up some some uh, food uh, for people there locally. And I bet that is so good. Marley, an Indonesian native, always delighted in cooking her husband uh, their now signature spicy Indonesian fare. When his co-workers got a taste of his lunches, they kept coming back for more. With the intense craving for the couple's unique cuisine growing, the towns decided to transform their lunchtime offerings into a full-fledged business. You can now find the towns regularly serving up their tangy street food and products at farmers markets and breweries. To stay up to date on where Bali Marley will be heading next, you can check out check them out on Facebook and also the calendar of, of events on their their website. But uh, these really sound interesting, guys. So uh, they say the um, the spicy sunflower seeds. You know, you can just snack on these alone. But I also believe that these would be fantastic in uh, a salad mixed in with a salad the ingredients is very unique they don't use any sugar they just use honey sodium is very low on this particular type of product only 85 milligrams so that is very low but sunflower seeds honey cayenne pepper olive oil garlic salt and white pepper so that is the seasonings the spices that they're using for their sunflower seeds now the uh the spicy peanuts, I've gotten into these already and these are super delicious. Uh, here's the ingredients on this one, the roasted peanuts of course. And we've got honey, olive oil, cayenne pepper, tamarind, garlic, and salt. So only 60 milligrams of sodium on these, but I'll show you what these look like. Um, now what I enjoy about both of these, the sunflower seeds and the, and the peanuts, is that um, they're not, they're not uh, sweet, too sweet is what I'm trying to say, sugary sweet, and they're not salty or too salty, just perfect. And the peanuts have a nice spice from that cayenne pepper. Mm. Yeah, not too salty, not too sweet, but I just love that honey sweetness to it, and I love the that tamarind must be doing something in here with that tart, tangy tamarind. But I love the cayenne pepper. You're getting a pretty good amount of heat. I would probably say that these are solid 3 out of 10. Um, really super delicious. I mean, I love all types of peanuts. You've got honey roasted peanuts, dry roasted peanuts, um, un unsalted roasted peanuts, different flavors, barbecue. But this is a super delicious, mildly spicy, 
uh, salted perfectly, but I love the combination of the ingredients of what they're using in here with the olive oil, the cayenne, tamarind, garlic, and salt. It's a really nice spice. It's just really tasty, really, really super delicious. Now, I thought this was really uh, something amazing. Now, Jeff, uh, James was telling me um, in a, a note that he sent me that this was their third item they came up with, the dry sambal shake. And they served this on their spicy bacon and french fries and uh, customers wanted to know what we were using and how that they could get some um, that's the best compliments isn't it and so now they can now the ingredients on this guys 100 milligrams of sodium but the ingredients is cayenne pepper garlic salt sugar red pepper onion and less than two percent of lime leaf um, yeah, lime leaf. I don't know if they're using kaffir lime leaf for the, so that, of course, it's dried lime leaves. But um, there's just a certain aroma to this one that's kind of nutty, kind of earthy. I don't know. Maybe it's possibly the, the floral citrusy lime leaf that's, that's kind of doing that. But it's got a unique aroma to it. And this stuff is super tasty. We had a dinner of, um, there's a picture of it, of some roasted herb, roasted baked chicken. Uh, has some mashed potatoes and had some uh, green peas. Um, this was super delicious on the chicken and even on the mashed potatoes. So I'm going to have to try this on a breakfast with some scrambled eggs, maybe some home fried potatoes and bacon, of course. I bet that would be really, really good. This is, uh, this is not too hot. I would probably still put this in the 3 to 4 out of 10 category. Same thing with the sunflower seeds. I think the sunflower seeds are probably a little bit less spicy than the peanuts but excellent products um, and hopefully I may be uh, reviewing some of their sambles um, uh, pretty soon as well so stay tuned for that but check this company out guys some really tasty unique products if you're into snacks and this thing right here this is amazing I think this would really be good on just like they say fries bacon pizza pasta corn corn on the cob you know uh, soup and eggs uh, just really really good and uh, popcorn as well. How about some popcorn? I bet that'd be good. Some dry sambal shake popcorn. All right, uh, James and uh, Marley, thank you so much for sending these products. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, you can check them out at bollymarley.com. That link will be down in the description. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. And until the next time, you know what to do. Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.